hey 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 everyone welcome and welcome back to the channel so i know it's been a while since i uploaded a regular video um usually lately i've been doing just strictly live streams but i have a lot of new subscribers coming in and i have a lot of people that are starting to watch my channel um, people like from work or just people that i meet and some of those people are actually just new to coloring or would like to start coloring so i thought i would make a couple of videos just to introduce them into adult coloring so um i have this cat right here because sometimes when i don't have anything right here my camera doesn't know what to focus on and it does like this weird zoom in zoom out thing so that is why he's here so first things first uh i want to talk about what is adult coloring because sometimes when i tell people that i like to color the first thing they think of is like children's books and like crayola crayons and things like that and then i go to explain to them no it's not quite the same as like you know when you're coloring in a children's book or with you know like when you were a kid so for me adult coloring is more like peace of mind and i don't just grab any coloring book it has to be a coloring book that appeals to me and the supplies that i use have to appeal to me they have to be um I don't want to say not cheap because I do have some supplies that are very budget friendly and they work very well, but they have to work. So I can't just go and get any supplies and then they don't do what I want them to do um, because it won't be um, something that I enjoy if it doesn't work for me. So adult coloring is just something that I enjoy doing and it helps, you know, kind of take whatever's on my mind at the time and just kind of pushes it to the side or sometimes it just makes it goes away completely um you know i just i'll pull out a coloring book or or a printed page and i grab whatever supplies i'm feeling at the moment and i just start coloring and a lot of times um the reason it helps kind of relaxes me and things like that is because now my mind is on picking colors picking pages what looks good what feels good you know and i'm enjoying that versus whatever stresses i'm dealing with for the day um a lot of people ask me well can anybody color like is that something that you know it sounds hard or i don't know how to color or it doesn't look right the the main purpose is to just relax. So yes, anybody can do it. Um, it doesn't have to be this great detailed picture or anything like that. It's going to be whatever you want it to be at the end. Now, to start, I would say, you know, just get a coloring book that appeals to you. I have over 80 coloring books and, you know, I do like all most i'm not gonna say all because i do have a couple that i'm not a fan of but i do enjoy most of my coloring books um out the gate i wouldn't say go and buy a bunch because the more coloring books you get the harder it's going to be to choose a page and sometimes even me i find myself just going through my coloring books and just flipping continuously through that coloring book it'll be a coloring book i want to color in but now i have troubles finding a page so if you're just starting i would say you know pick something that appeals to you pick something that um you can start with something maybe like this one here this is matchstick mouse and this book has small images each page is one of these little circle images they're very quick to color. Um, they're very cute. He has different ones. Um, there's a Halloween, a Christmas, a spring. 
there's different ones. So this book is by um, Morgan O'Brien. And I'd say get something like this and get some color pencils or some markers and, you know, whatever supplies that you feel like you might want to try. And we'll get into supplies later. But to just start, you know, you can order a book. You can order everything off Amazon. Or if you don't want to invest in an Amazon order, you can walk right into your, your 99 cent store. Normally they have markers and color pencils and things like that. But if it's something, if you're finding yourself doing things like watching YouTube videos over and over of people coloring and things like that, I would say order a book that you, you know, that you've seen someone coloring in that you think is nice and order that book, order you, um, a decent set of pencils, I would say there's, there's plenty on Amazon ranging from anywhere between 12 to, you know, if you want to like really invest to like $300, but just starting out, you know, there are good sets that are about 20, $25 and you get a good amount of pencils. They're decent pencils and you can just start. Um, if you're not a pencil person, then they have markers, decent marker sets um watercolors you know whatever you're comfortable with pick that medium and start now some books if you are interested in things like watercolor and if you don't know what watercolor is i have some here so um this is my like personal set so this isn't the set that came with this tin but they're just paint and you add water to it and you just paint with them um, some books don't take water very well. And so you want to be cautious of what, um, how much water you're putting on paper. So for example, like this book, it has pretty thin paper. It's pretty thin, but I've been able to use water in these books. I just have to be careful and be mindful of how much water, because if you put too much water, it'll rip up the page. So I wouldn't start with watercolor out of the gate. I would start with either markers or pencils. And, um, you know, later on down the line, if you feel like you are enjoying it and it's something that you want to do long term, then you can go and find out which books water work in. You can invest in more expensive books. Um, I haven't bought a book that's more than like 30 bucks. Um, there is one I'm currently interested in and it's about 70 and I haven't gotten it yet cause you know, it's $70, but, um, most of my books have been under $30. So, you know, you can, usually the more expensive ones can hold water and things like that, but there are some that are like, you know, 12, 10, 13 bucks and they hold water just as well. So while we're on the subject of books, let's go through some. So this is a more simple book. Um, like I said, they have simple images. And the images in this book are only on one side. So you have the image here and on the other side is blank. These kind of books are ideal if you like using alcohol markers. Because alcohol markers, such as Sharpies, will go straight through your page. No matter what kind of paper you're coloring on, it's going to go through the other side. So if you have two images, if you have an image over here and you're coloring this one, you're going to ruin this one if you're using something like Sharpies. So um, it has, this is simple, quick coloring pages. You can probably get through something like this in an hour um, if you're, you know, constantly working on it. And there are some black, so you don't really have to, you know, work too hard on these unless you really want to but something that you can go through and color quick and it's thin so you can actually you know finish a coloring book if you're the type of person that likes to complete a coloring book before buying another one or if you buy it and you decide you just don't really like it it's it's thin the paper's thin the images are easy just i would say that's a pretty good starter book um Another book, if you're into patterns, 
um, or like kind of zen doodle type of things and you just want to pick a bunch of colors out and you know do something like that uh, Millie Murata she makes a lot of pattern books um, this one is called Island Escape and I sometimes I come in here and I do totally mindless coloring where I just put the marker down and don't do anything else to it this is a page I was working on I'm not finished yet um, but I just put the color down. I haven't done any shading or anything like that. Um, we'll get into that in a, in a total other video. Um, but I want to keep this video simple for those who are just starting. Um, or you can come in and you can shade and you can make it look more detailed and things like that. But they're just, they're all pattern. So like this one's a rooster or a chicken or something, but it's pattern. So you can just come in with some markers, some fine liners, you know, and just make it the way you want it to be made. Um, she also has some of the pages where, let me see if I can find one, where it's the same image, but one is more detailed than the other. Okay, like this one. I could probably pick one that doesn't drive you a little crazy. Though. Let me see if I can find a better one. Um, okay, so like this one. This this image here is the less detailed image. You can see the the lines are a little bit thicker. You have more room. So whereas this side is more patterns, more lines, the lines are thinner. You know, this one's way more detailed than this side. So some of her pages are like that too. So if you feel like, you know, you want to do something more detailed, then of course you would choose the detail side and you know even like this one this is the detail side and this one is a lot less overwhelming so she has a lot of pages in her books like that too um so this would be another good one and all of these books can be found on amazon as well and I have, I'm going to do these last because these are a little special. Um, and I want to talk about those in a little bit more detail. Another, I have two popular uh, type of books. And I'm going to show you them now. Um, so one of them is, they, these are series. So they have different kinds. So one of the series is Mythographic which I love. I have so many of these, it's ridiculous, and this isn't even all of them. Um, so with the Mythographic series, there are multiple artists. So for example, this book is by Joseph Cadenbang. So all the art, and most of mine are by him because I just love his. And this one is Fabiana Atanasio. So most of them, I keep knocking you guys around, most of them are by Joseph or Fabiana, but there are some other artists that are in there. Um, but these two are my favorite, so these are the ones that I have. So Joseph's work is far more detailed and a lot more going on to me than Fabiana's, so I actually like him a little bit more because I like the detailed work. And with these mythographic books, the older ones have like hidden images which i'm not too much of a fan of um but there are ways around it and sometimes i just color them in there like for example there's a chocolate chip cookie right there so if you're not a fan of like the hidden images then go ahead and get the newer version of these books um and i'll show you some of those but this one is the aquatic so it's gonna have a lot of water theme pictures we like fish and mermaids and um things like that um so if you're into something like that and you like water things you can pick the aquatic book and it'll have everything water everything water theme um i don't i was looking oh here here's one i've done and this book takes water pretty well I put some watercolor metallic, so the shiny bits you see, that's watercolor. Um, 
I also think I used some watercolor pencils. So it takes water pretty well. It does like wrinkle the page a little bit, but that doesn't bother me. So, um, so that's the aquatic version. I, I do believe this one is one of the newer ones. Is it? Yeah, this is one of the newer ones. So there are no hidden images in the newer ones at all. It's just the image. Um, this one, I, I used alcohol marker and watercolor. So let me show you what I'm talking about with the alcohol marker. So these are single-sided. So if you use alcohol marker, this is what it's going to do to the other side of your page. So if you have a double-sided book and you care about the other page, don't use alcohol markers because that's what's going to happen. So save your alcohol markers for the single-sided images. But alcohol markers are really good because when you put them down, um, you don't have to worry about anything, really. Um, but we'll go into that in another video. Um, this one, his work is so detailed. And this one's Voyage. So I think on this one, um, the person, whoever's in the, the image, they're going on some kind of trip or, you know, they're on an adventure, basically somewhere magical or somewhere interesting or something like that. So that's this book um if you guys want to see like flip throughs of any of these books just let me know down in the comments and then i will you know flip through whatever book you guys tell me you want to see it um this one is also by joseph let's look at one by fabiana okay so this one is by fabiana this one doesn't have hidden images either so hers is a little less detailed it's still detailed but it's a lot less detailed than Joseph's. You can tell, you know, what's going on and things like that. And I have um, a lot of half done pages in here because I was kind of bouncing around trying to see what, you know, what page I wanted to do. And this is a book I want to finish. So I kind of take my time going back and forth between it. Um, I haven't colored in it recently because I've been coloring something else. But you see how hers is a lot less detailed than his. So, you know, you can kind of, whatever book you think you're interested in, you can go on YouTube, type the name of the book, and I guarantee you there's going to be a flip through of that book. So this one... Um, it's kind of falling apart on me. I have some pages that falls apart, but that's okay because this one is perforated. So you can tear the pages out if you want yourself. I didn't intend for them to come out. They just kind of fell out on me, um, which happens with sometimes with these books, with any coloring book, really. Sometimes the pages will fall out um, depending on how that book was bound together. Okay, so another artist that is pretty popular is Kirby Rosanis. Um, he has so many books and he's a great artist. I have some of his early books and I also have some of his newer ones. So we're going to look at, um, we're going to go from older to, and I, I have um, quite a few of his books. I don't have them all because some of them are compilation books where he has some of his older like some of multiple books and multiple pages from multiple books in one book if that makes any sense so um this one is actually one of my favorites of his this is mythomorphia and i had to get a second copy of this one because this one is falling apart and i couldn't bring myself to color in it anymore because it was just it's falling apart as you can see so um but he has really detailed work too and his work is really neat and he has these really cool like like this one is mytho myth mythic type of animals and creatures and things going on um here's another one that i've colored and like i said some of them some of my work is kind of just in the moment coloring some of it i actually put some thought behind it so like for this one it's a little bit of both when it came to the background and those rocks that was the last thing i had kind of came across 
the dragon was the first thing I did. So if you see the dragon is like pretty decently colored. Um, but the rest of this, once I was done with the dragon, you can kind of tell I was just over it. So I just put some marker on the background and um, what else is on here? It looks like gel pen and some other stuff, but just in the moment. This one I wanted to do, but I was kind of upset because the other page kind of went through a little bit. So, um, I'm glad I got another copy of this book so I can redo this page. Because I really love how the trees came out on this one. But, I can do, in the snow, the snow didn't turn out too bad either. But I could really, I think I can do that page better. Now this one I'm sad about because I really love this page and it just fell apart on me. Um, I love how it turned out. I love everything about this page and it fell apart on me, but that's okay because I had fun doing it. So, and that's the whole point for me is as long as I have fun, um, me and my sister did this page together. It, well, she did hers in her book and um, I did mine in mine and we were... I think we were out just hanging out somewhere in the mall and we brought our coloring books and it was just a cool day. So you can pretty much color anywhere, anytime. Um, this was another one. And I like doing the double pages in his book, but they take a long time. I am a pretty slow colorist. I hope I'm not flipping too fast, but I don't want this video too long. I don't want to overwhelm you guys. So that's one, but I do have another copy of it. And I'm actually working on the dragon page again, but I'm doing them a different color this time. So I did get, I put a watercolor base down and I'm gonna go in with pencil and then um, hopefully, so far nothing's gone through the other side. But I got a second copy of this one because this one hopefully won't fall apart because this one's not glue bound. This one actually is stitched. So that's why I got a second copy of that one. And so here's another one. This one's Fragile World. So this one has like endangered animals and species and things like that. Um, so this one was really nice. This was more, one of his more realistic ones with animals and things like that. I haven't colored too much in this one. I have done, I think one or two. Uh, I did do a color along on my channel if you want to see me color in this book. I think I colored the eagle, this one. So if you wanna see me color this, it is up on my channel. I did do a video um, coloring this eagle. And then I also did the butterfly, but I'm not sure if this one's on my channel. It might be in a live stream or something. Um, and I'm working on the mountain lion page. You can see I write down the colors I'm using. So I am working on that. And then I did the, the title page, sort of. I still have to go in and shade some stuff, but for the most part, title page is done. Oh, and the turtle, because he was too cute to not do. And this one was done in pencil and I think watercolor. So you can see the page is a little wrinkle, but I'm okay with it. These books take water pretty well too. And then this one is another um, kind of mythic creature type of thing. So the other one is like, it was more doodly and it had some hidden images in it and things like that. This one is more um, on the realistic-ish side. It's still kind of like, I don't want to say doodly, but it still has Kirby's style, but the mythic creatures and things there's no doodles or anything like that um so this might may or may not be your style and i'm just showing you guys different things in here um i did do one in here i did do mommy wata so i used gel pen and pencil and also watercolor on this one so the Kirby books and the mythographic books, they take water very well. I'm also working on this one, hang on. I like to do my most of my coloring in pencils. Um, but that, you know, that's just me. Pencils take more work 
but I think it yields better results because I'm not very good with other things. And then this is his newest one. This is Alien Worlds. And I've only started one page in here and it's taking so long. So I'm not um, quite finished with it yet, but this is as far as I've gotten in this book. And I'm getting there. I want to finish that page so I can do another one. This one is like literally what it says it is, and it's alien worlds. So it's a lot of different worlds with aliens, different type of aliens and monsters. And this little astronaut dude is going on these planets and coming across different things. I also started on this one. This is this was kind of like my test page where I was testing um, pencils and things to see how well they work. So that's what's going on there. But yeah. Also, another thing, um, if you don't want to invest in coloring books, you can go on Etsy, and Etsy has what um, what you would call a PDF, and you can buy um, coloring books to print out, and you can print out images to color. That's also a thing. I have a binder full of them. Um, I did buy a coloring book where it was like 4,000 something odd print pages you can print out. I haven't printed out that many, but I did print out some and filled up a binder. And so I did color this one so far. And I also colored another one. Let me just find her. She's here. There she is. I did her also. So, to sum it up, anyone can color. Anyone can color however they want to color with whatever they want to color with. As long as it is a relaxing experience that you are enjoying. Um, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up so other newer colorists can find it. And people who are interested in coloring can find it and, you know, can understand that coloring isn't just for children. We adults like to color. I've come across loads of people that and they always say, oh, I used to color all the time. I used to love coloring. Okay, well, I always ask them, well, why'd you stop? Oh, I'm too old. I'm too old to color. No, you're not. If you enjoy it, do it. But anyway... Um, that's, this is going to be like part one. I'm going to end it here. Um, if you are thinking about coloring and want to get started in this little hobby, um, go ahead and stay tuned for part two. Part two, we're going to talk about different materials and I'm going to be showing you guys, um, the different materials that I have and the different materials that I use. And you can kind of determine from there what you might be interested in and you guys can go ahead and get started all right i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for tuning in